Some nights you just feel lazy, and grabbing a cutting board, chopping up veggies, seems like way too much work. So why not skip a step and roast an entire head of cauliflower? One that's coated in a butter and herb sauce, sprinkled with Parmesan cheese, and then baked in the oven until crisp and tender. Hey there, I'm London Brazil from EvolvingTable.com, and today we're going to be making this garlic and herb whole roasted cauliflower. So if you're ready to get to cooking, then come on in and let's get started. Preheat your oven to 400 degrees. We'll first start by preparing the cauliflower. You'll want to look for a medium-sized head that's roughly 6 to 7 inches in diameter. If you get one much larger than this, you'll have a difficult time fully cooking it through. The base of a head of cauliflower has a lot of green leaves and a thick white stalk. These parts are bitter and tough, so you want to make sure to remove them before roasting it in the oven. Either cut the green leaves with a knife to remove them, or snap them off by hand. Pay careful attention not to cut all of the way into the parts with the florets attached. Next, remove the thick white stalk by making an incision at the base of it. You want only the head of cauliflower with the florets to remain intact. Now that the cauliflower is prepared, it's time to move on to that garlic and herb sauce. For this, we're going to be using a combination of both oil and butter. But feel free to use either all of one or replace with a dairy-free butter alternative. In a small bowl, add two tablespoons of melted butter, two tablespoons of olive oil, two cloves of crushed garlic, one teaspoon of Italian seasoning, half a teaspoon of salt, and one fourth teaspoon of black pepper to taste. Whisk until well combined. This homemade Italian seasoning blend is what I'm using here today, but feel free to get a little creative. You can swap it out for some Greek seasoning, spice it up with some Cajun or blackened seasoning, or give it a Mexican flair with some taco seasoning. Place the prepared head of cauliflower in either a large Dutch oven or on a baking sheet. Using a pastry or basting brush, coat the entire head of cauliflower with three-fourths of the sauce mixture. Reserve the remaining sauce. Cover the cauliflower with aluminum foil. This step is super important. The foil actually helps to trap all of that heat inside of our pot, ensuring that the cauliflower cooks all of the way through. If you forget the foil, you'll end up with a cauliflower head that's super crusty on the outside, but the inside is undercooked. So now we're just going to pop this into our preheated 400 degree oven for 30 minutes. If you leave the foil off, the outside will get nice and crispy, while the inside will remain uncooked. Add the cauliflower to the preheated 400 degree oven for 30 minutes. Remove the foil and continue cooking for an additional 10 to 20 minutes or until the interior is soft and tender. Remove the cauliflower from the oven and brush with the remaining sauce. You may need to reheat it in the microwave so the butter melts again. Sprinkle two to three tablespoons of Parmesan cheese over the entire head. At this point, your cauliflower is technically all of the way cooked through, but you still don't have that crisp exterior. So to get that crunchy outside, you'll wanna set your oven to a high broil and broil for three to five minutes or until the Parmesan cheese begins to turn a golden brown. Serve the cauliflower with a sprinkle of additional Parmesan cheese and a bit of fresh basil or parsley. You can either cut the head into wedges or cut off the florets individually. Oh yeah. Mmm, 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 mmm. Oh my goodness, there's so much butter and garlic and herb flavor. If you want a quick main dish to go along with this, you can check out these other easy dinner recipes here. Thanks so much for hanging out, y'all. I'll see you again soon.